Over the years, I've tried a variety of methods for curing my trout and salmon eggs. I've tried all the commercial cures, borax, but what I find works best for me, what I've been using probably the last 20 years, this is simple salt cure. And today I'm going to demonstrate how I do my salt cure. Having good bait is key to having a good day on the water. Now once you obtain some fresh trout or salmon eggs, the first thing you need to do, regardless of which method of curing you're going to do, is stream harden the eggs. And the sooner you do it, the better quality eggs you're going to end up with. Okay, for stream hardening, you just want to take your fresh eggs, put them in a Ziploc bag, add fresh cold stream water to them, let them sit 5-10 minutes. What it'll do is harden the membrane so your eggs won't pop when you're tying egg sacks. You want to have gooey runny eggs. You have some good quality eggs. Like I said, the sooner you can do that, the better quality eggs going to be. Now for your salt curing process, you're going to fill a large bowl full of cold water, approximately a cup, a cup of salt, non-iodized or canning salt. You'll want to use iodized salt. Add your eggs. After mixing it, add your eggs. The eggs will float in the solution. Let them sit there anywhere from 20 minutes to half hour. I've even let them sit for 3-4 hours when I forgot about them and they turn out fine. I'm going to pour them in the trash. Okay. Take your bowl. Rinse all the salt out. Fill the bowl back with clean water. Pour the eggs back in. Rinse all the salt. Stop the curing process. Leave them in there for now. A minute or so. Pour the eggs back in the strainer. Okay, take them. Got an empty bowl. Pour them back in the bowl. Leave a little moisture in there. So it'll absorb the moisture back in through the eggs. Okay. Hey, now you rinse your eggs, you're ready to start storing them. I find that a baby food jar is perfect size for freezing the eggs. There's enough eggs in one jar to tie anywhere from two to four dozen egg sacs, depending on the size. This way you don't have to thaw out the whole batch. And uh, a jar of this size will thaw out, thaw out in about an hour and a half or so. And with this salt curing, it's uh, nice firm eggs. They'll uh, last for a, a couple of years in the freezer, and I find with these eggs, they don't turn white as fast as a lot of the other cures. You get multiple casts, dozens of casts before the eggs even start losing their color turning white. I just took this jar out of the freezer an hour and a half ago. These are from last October, and I'm going to see how these look compared to the ones I just cured. Well, here's the ones I just cured. Look like they hold up pretty good. And that's our salt cure method for loose trout and salmon eggs. Um, eggs are pretty firm. You give them a little squeeze, they're not going to pop. So you're not going to pop eggs where you're tying a sack and up loose bags. But got a nice, nice natural smell to them too. Actually, they smell like smell like. Hmm. I want to eat one. <sighs> Oh, that is a nice size steelhead. <laughs>